Hello everyone, I am the Franchise King, Joel Lavava. Uh, this is Bear. Say hi, Bear. <laughs> Let's see if we can get face in All right, All right, you get an idea. Come here. All right, sit, sit. Today, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, pet supply franchise opportunities uh, because of the amount, you're such a good boy, the amount of money. Come here. Okay, sit, sit. The amount of money that uh, consumers spend on their pets is in the billions. I'm talking huge. I'm serious. A tremendous amount of money is being spent every year on pets like Bear. Uh, and there are opportunities, uh, retail franchise opportunities, uh, that focus on pets that you might want to take a look at. Uh, sometimes people say that people spend more on their pets than they're, than, than they're on their kids. So, uh, hey, you never know. Anyway, uh, you know, for example, you know, we have some treats here for Bear that he really, really likes. Well, I'll, I'll let him have one. Uh, and this, these sell in a pet supply franchise store for around eh, seven bucks or so. How much do you think it costs for a, a big pack of treats? To the franchisee, you know, what do you think? Maybe three bucks? Good boy. Maybe two fifty. Uh, the markup is pretty good. Uh, uh, that's my point. Uh, in addition. There are other things like bones, like this massive bone that Bear really, really likes. You like that bone, huh, Bear? All right. By the way, <laughs> hold on, buddy. By the way, uh, 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 Bear is a rescue. We rescued him almost four years ago. And he is just, he's turned into a, a, such a tremendous dog. Uh, there's one franchise in particular, Pet Supplies Plus. Um, and uh, I'm a customer of theirs. Uh, I, I'm not getting paid to mention them, but they are probably the largest pet franchisor around. And uh, speaking of rescues, uh, they do not sell puppies. They do not sell puppies like from puppy mills like some of the other pet stores do. Uh, they refuse to get them in that game. They do have some kittens once in a while available for adoption so you can rescue a kitten. Uh, and, and one more thing, if you want to follow Franchise Dog on Twitter, that's Bear. He's the second Franchise Dog. Our first one uh, uh, we lost a few years ago. He was a purebred Airedale by the name of Winston. And he was the original franchise dog on Twitter. So follow Franchise Dog on Twitter. He talks about dogs and also about franchise information. Here's your bone, buddy. All right, there you go. Here you go. Go on. He loves his bone. Uh, other pet supplies that that are sold uh, from stores like Pet Supply Plus leashes. These cost about fifteen, sixteen dollars. These leather leashes. Uh, that's what they are retail. How much do you think they cost Pet Supplies franchise owners? Pet Supplies Plus franchise owners. <laughs> Uh, not $15. So the margins are pretty good uh, on, on retail franchise opportunities in, in the pet supply uh, industry. Uh, if I were you, here's how I would how I would get into a pet supplies plus or, or similar type of franchise opportunity. Uh, I would, um, okay, here, go on, go on your phone. I would try to be a multi-store owner. Um, and it's interesting because I've, uh, the Pet Supplies Plus that I, uh, that I frequent, I've never seen the owner around. Uh, I have a feeling he or she owns a couple stores in the Cleveland area. That's how I would do it. Now, not everyone can afford a Pet Supplies Plus franchise or any kind of pet franchise in the retail uh, marketplace because uh, you need a big store. You need to have a lot of inventory. You need to have several employees. But if you like that retail atmosphere, if you like a place where people come in and see you to do business, uh, uh, pet franchises is, is the way to go. You know, must love dogs, must love kittens, must love animals is probably another prerequisite. I mean, if you're an animal hater, why would you own a pet supplies or, or any pet related franchise? All right. So I just wanted to talk briefly about pet related franchises. Uh, uh, and, and, and when you think about the pet market, it is really massive. So you don't have to just think about retail franchises. There are other things. There are dog walking services. Uh, there, are, there are grooming services, um, and some, some pet supplies uh, uh, franchise opportunities even, even have groomers on site. So they're kind of a, a one-stop shop for everything. If you love pets and retail is something you're interested in, it's definitely worth it to check out this sector of franchising. And if you love pets at all, all right, look at a pet franchise. Maybe it would seem not much like work and more like enjoying yourself. One more thing, if you love pets and you want to get into a pet franchise, remember that there is a business aspect to it. 
So you're not just going to be hanging around doggies all day, all right? Um, you're going to have to do the books. You're going to have to do payroll, hiring, firing, training, et cetera, okay? But if you become a multi-unit owner, you can have a manager help you with that so you don't have to be at the store all the time. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Obama. Thank you for watching this video. Bear, thanks for uh, uh, letting us hang out with you.